are headed to a coffee shop right now. We are here in downtown. We're just walking. Here's Coco and Raymond. <laughs> and you probably can't tell yet, but I'm actually using a different lens today because, you know, it is an unusual day. It's currently 1.30 p.m. right now and we are heading to a lunch place that we haven't been before. I actually don't know where we're gonna go to. It was Raymond's task to pick out our lunch place for today.
now back at home. It is 6 p.m. right now. I'm hopping on here to give you guys an update on how my bookstore trip went. I honestly did go crazy at Barnes & Noble. I mean, I just could not help myself. I told Raymond that I'm only gonna be there at most half hour. So typically, before I buy a new book, I usually go on Goodreads and check out the book that I'm planning on buying. But since it's unusual day today, I just went to Barnes & Noble and just started browsing different types of books. And I told myself that I'm gonna be buying at least one book that I usually wouldn't buy for myself. And I'm gonna give you guys a rundown about the books that I got. I bought more than one. I think I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven new books. As I've said, I went a little bit crazy. <laughs> so the first book that I typically wouldn't pick up on my own would be this one. This one is The 4-Hour Workweek. This is written by Timothy Ferris. Basically, this book is about an escape from 9 to 5, live anywhere and join the new rich. I decided to pick up this book and hopefully learn something from it. Then the next book that I got is this book about mindfulness just being mindful and living in the moment. This is by Gil Hassan and I'm actually excited to read this one. I just want to be present. I want to live in the now. So I think this is going to be a good book for me to read. The third book that I got is this Goal Mapping by Brian Maine. This book is a practical guide to turning your dreams into reality. So these are the three books that I got for today that I would normally not pick up on my own unless it's gifted to me and then I found this section where you can buy one and get another one for 50% off and I could not pass a good deal I mean I read I think like a book every week anyhow moving along the next four books are the books that I would normally pick so the first one is by Ruth Ozeki a Tale for the Time Being. This is a Booker Prize finalist, so I'm pretty excited to read this one. And then the next two books are by the same author. These are both by Ruth Ware. I have not heard about this author. So the first one that I got is The Woman in Cabin 10. It's a mystery thriller. I'm excited to read that one. And then the other book by Ruth Ware is this one by one. And then the last book that I picked for today is by an author named Nina Lauren. I have not heard about this this author as well so I'm kind of excited to discover new authors that I hopefully will like those are the books that I got from Barnes & Noble today I'm very excited to read all of this and then right after going to Barnes & Noble we did stop by a thrift store this is actually an idea from my sister she suggested that I go to a thrift store and to try to find something that I would not normally wear or something that I would not normally buy so I tried doing that but the thing is the dresses that I would not normally wear are are not my sizes so I just went to the vintage section and found a couple items the first one is this retro looking sweater from Tommy Hilfiger I love the colors it did remind me of the 90s the second item that I thrifted today is this vintage Mickey and Minnie Mouse crew neck I love the print so freaking much it reminds me of my childhood days and the last item that I thrifted for myself today is this vintage Paula Ralph Lauren jogger pants, I guess. And it does have a back pocket. Everyone does need a back pocket in their lives. And then I got Raymond a very plain and simple Puma sweater. This is the crew neck that I got for Raymond. But before I end this vlog, I want to give you guys my thoughts on today's unusual day. I actually did surprisingly enjoyed it very much. I like thinking of different ways on how can I make my ordinary day unusual or out of the ordinary. For my dining experience, I was actually happy that I ordered different types of food from the ones that I normally would get. I ended up liking all the food that we've got for today. So that was fun. Overall, I did enjoy today's challenge. I enjoyed getting out of my comfort zone. I'm actually surprised that I had fun doing it. So yep, this is your reminder to get out of your comfort zone. You wouldn't know if you like something unless you try it out. And don't be scared to get out of your comfort zone because I feel like it's part of growing up. It's part of making yourself grow more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I want to let you know that I appreciate you so much. 
Thank you for clicking on this video, for hanging out with me, and for watching. I hope you guys had fun, and if you guys did, give this video a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys!